Hello everyone and welcome to the 5th edition of TM India Cup. So to give you all a brief background of uh, the 5th India, 5th uh, edition of this cup, uh, this is the uh, uh, cup with the highest participation that we have had so far. We have had 4 cups before this, the first one that was held way back in on 1st of June, uh, 27th of June in fact, where only 5 people trained and attended the cup, but we have come uh, a long way since that time. Uh, we also uh, have had a uh, ultimate knockout uh, on custom maps hosted by Hachi and uh, Flag Rush tournaments. But what makes uh, today's fifth edition of the TMI Cup uh, so important or uh, so amazing is that it's the first edition where we, have had, uh, we are where we are having a sponsorship and a prize pool. Uh, Ashish Mesh, one of the players who is also playing uh, in the uh, match that you all are spectating, uh, has generously decided to contribute 2500 rupees for the prize pool. Uh, the distribution is the first uh, or the winner of the cup gets 1250 rupees, the second place gets 750 rupees, and the third place gets 500 rupees. We'll have a one minute warm up. So, the format uh, in the qualifier is it will be a round mode and five rounds on, on the map. Top 4 players with the highest points go into the finals. And the finals will be played in Cup 4. So, the first map that we are playing right here is kind of a grass mixed map called Masquerade. It's kind of a slow grass map. We have to watch out for uh, the gears to make sure that we don't lose at critical points in the map. Uh, to give you an idea what times the players here should be targeting, uh, the world record here is uh, a 42.4 by Kunal who is on, who's playing on group 2. Uh, but uh, so the second place is 42.461 by Alba who is actually playing in. So what we should be expecting is uh, somewhere around the 43 range for winning uh, a round on this map and with that we are going live. Okay, so Doug walks pretty much the first turn and as expected, as I said, that Alba had a good position on this map in the leaderboard, so he's taking uh, a pretty good lead, in fact, right at the start, he's almost 0.4 ahead. Hopped is uh, following close behind. Uh, what we'll see somewhere here in the ending is... Uh, a line which the players take where they get go slightly higher on this uh, block and then they try to get into the finish and Alba Rent wins the first round. As you can see the finish, it's it's kind of tricky, it's not as easy as it looks. Uh, these guys have practiced a lot on these maps. There are very high chances that you bomb the finish. So Alba gets first with a 43.4 which is actually a very good time. Corp gets second, Kather gets third and Dark gets fourth. I don't think bloody finished. All right, on to the second round. Well, this time Spock decides to take the lead and Burry is actually pretty close behind. Might have missed out on the first round and tried to make sure that he has some points on the board. As Alba takes the lead once again. Alba has practiced, practiced this map a lot. As you can see, he's still pretty much uh, pretty far ahead from the uh, back. And Scorp, as I was mentioning before, that he bombs, but he does not bomb the finish, he actually bombs the tree. Which means that Alba pretty much gets to win this round without any kind of competition with the 43.1 which is once again just about 0.5 or 0.6 behind world record and to get this time in rounds on a map that you have practiced for only one week that's really amazing mm -hmm. 
The third round. It, it seems like Gary keeps getting this very good start, but maybe he's messing up somewhere in the end as Alba, who you know, uh, gets a terrific middle section because he always just don't fight a pass ahead everyone else in the middle section, but right now he's still a uh, little bit behind. Uh, Scott is the one who's actually taking a lead uh, on this particular round, uh, followed, followed by Bloody. Bob decides to take a little bit higher line on that uh, block right there and yeah, he makes it into the finish. Bob gets first with a 43.6. Bloody gets second with a 43.7 and Alba gets third. Let's see if anyone else finishes. Kaza going for the safe finish. Ashish meanwhile finishes with 54 and Kaza finishes with 59 and Dark finishes at 1 minute. Nine. So uh, the point so far is Alba is still comfortably leading this particular round followed by Scorp and Kazar and Dart. Uh, Bloody uh, who's actually pretty pretty good in uh, this particular match but uh, because he's not able to have that consistency in finishing the map he's lagging a little bit behind. As you can see once again Bloody actually uh, you know among the top 3 again in this round. But if you see, Alba actually takes a very clean inside line through that turn that you just saw and again in this turn as well that makes him gain such, so much speed uh, for the ending and again we have a situation where he is pretty much far ahead without any kind of competition as, so, as long as he does not bomb the tree or bomb the finish he wins the round once again with a 42.7 that's an amazing time it's just 0.3 behind, behind the world record which uh, is by Kunal. Scorp gets second, Bloody gets third, uh, he needs those points Bloody, Dark gets fourth, Ashish fifth and Kedar gets sixth. Actually, uh, racing ahead from everyone else in this particular round, where we see him taking this neat inside lines. He's actually almost 0.8 ahead of everyone else. This, this should be an easy win for him in this particular round. I think uh, Alba has bombed somewhere. Maybe having some kind of internet issues. Dark taking the ending pretty well and he finishes and Dark actually finishes first followed by Ashish and Kazar and then Alba. And Scorp follows up uh, at 6th position with 56, maybe he had some kind of internet issues because he was lagging on my end. So that wraps up. The first map, uh, just to give you a brief background on the players that are playing on this particular group, uh, Corpid, uh, he's one of the very well-known players in TM India community. He's particularly good on ice as we actually load up the ice map. So the ice map that we are seeing right now, uh, it's called TMRT Winter Days. Uh, it's an ice slash bobsleigh map. Uh, this was the map that was initially used in the Pakistan near Russia tournament. What's important on this map is the initial slide. It's very important to get uh, good exit speed from that slide, which actually translates or propagates to this bobsleigh, which then you know, propagates to this the ice slide. So it's very important to get a very good start on this particular map. The world record here is actually a 41.2 by 41.28 actually by Scorpid, which is a very fast time. And uh, if warm-ups or if practices are anything to go by, you can do a sub 42 pretty much consistently. But I would say sub 43 is also a very good time here because uh, as it is with ice maps, it's not always 
the leaderboards are not always that close or the times are not always that close. Okay, on to the first round on today's match. Dark gets a very bad start and as expected, Scott gets the best start of everyone else. He's 0.4 ahead on the first CP itself. Larry actually uh, <laughs> overtaking Scott with Wonks there because he did not did not get the ice slide perfectly after the jump. But seems like even with that that bomb, Scott was pretty much ahead, but he still does not finish. Larry picks him in this round with a 44.2, which is not exactly a very good time, but uh, yeah, as as we are seeing, it's good enough to win because one mistake can. Uh, you know, people are completely out of the round. It seems like Spork, Alba and Ashish if we get a very good start, Spark once again gets a very good start on the map, but as we spun round one, we did not manage to get the slide after the jump perfectly. Alba messes up the slide as well. This time Spark is 1.2 seconds ahead of everyone else, as long as he does not want the finish. Yes, uh, that was close. It was dicey. <laughs> he almost bombed the finish. So the finish, we have safe finishes as well as risky finishes and that risky finish is, the, is not as easy as, as it looks because once you are in that ice slide, it is very easy to slide out if you are trying to get that finish. So you have to get very inside and make sure that you do get into the finish block without bonking. to the third round on the days. Pop once again with the lead and actually a very good speed. Yeah, he, he's got the best speed from among everyone else. Blurry is following close behind. But oh, Scott once again bombs. And that puts Alba actually in the lead followed by Blurry. Let's see if they maintain the finish managed to finish this map without any more bombs and we see Blurry actually overtaking as well with a lot of speed as we approach the end and Blurry actually finishes but Alba bombs but he still manages to finish second so as I said in, in practice we've seen players finish this map with sub 42s pretty much consistently but uh, we are seeing uh, 43s and even 44s being winning times on this map right now. Bloody is actually one of the underdogs uh, in this tournament to be very honest. It's, it's his first uh, TMI tournament but he has practiced a lot. Uh, he has hunted these maps a lot. Uh, the, the only thing that we need to make, uh, see here is whether he also holds the consistency, for, uh, consistency so that he finishes top 4 and makes it to the finals. As we see in this round, Scott again makes a mistake and Alba is taking the first position. Scott is still second with that mistake. And Alba finishes first with a 42. Followed by Dari, who's actually doing pretty well for himself now. Let's see, Ashish. I don't think Ashish has enough time to finish.
Albas Corp and Dury once again getting very good starts. Uh, and a pretty decent slide. Alpha taking the inside slide was tough. Corp is outside. Dury crashes a little bit, which loses him a lot of speed. That means Corp is still ahead. Alba is totally following in second position. Kazar overtakes Blurry for third position. Let's see, look at the finish. Cobb does manage to finish first this time, followed by Alba and Kazar. And Dury coming in fourth. So that wrap up, wraps up all the five rounds on winter days. Alba is in the lead with 200 points so far, followed by Sported, Blurry, and I lost that screw. Okay. So Alba, he he has performed well in the previous TMI Cups. He has placed third in TMI Cup one and TMI Cup two. Uh, this is, I guess, the third cup that he is playing seriously, uh, and uh, it looks like he has practiced a lot as we move on to a CCP match, Frozen Paradise. Uh, it is a speed tech match, speed tech entry for this cup. So, for any of you who uh, don't know, uh, TMI cup maps generally contain apps with all different surfaces so that. Uh, players can practice and try and perfect each surface of each style separately. This map's uh, this map shows in paradise, which is a speed tech map. It is actually a very easy to finish map. Uh, the world record here is 43.3 uh, by Carl Jr. Uh, but if you look at the best Indian time, that's 43.54 by Nani and 43.58 by Iridium. And if you are talking about Players playing right here, it's 43.6 uh, by Alba. So the third and fourth position are Bloody and Kaiser. Uh, Dark and Ashish may need to catch up a lot if they want to make sure that they, they qualify for the finals as we go into the first round of Frozen Paradise. taking an early lead, uh, a player can get a lot of exit speed from that particular side which I think Scorpion has and this round, it's, the first three are within 0 0.03 or 0 0.04, it, it's a very close fight, Scorpion gets a very good exit speed from that particular side which is very deciding and I think if he does not make any more mistakes even this yes. Scott finishes fourth with 43.9, followed by Alba and Dari. 43.9 is almost 0.6 behind what the but that is actually a very good time. Alba bombs at the start of second round. That means it gives a chance to uh, chance to Scorpion to make sure that he gathers some points and maybe finish first in this particular group. Because Alba is almost 22 points ahead of him. As we see, Bloody coming in from nowhere at the end. Corp actually had taken that one particular flight very wide, but he still manages to maintain his first position, finishing first uh, with 44.4, which is actually a little slow. Uh, Blurry finishing in second, Kadar third, Ashish fourth, Alba in fifth, and Dark in sixth. Corp and Alba within seven points from each other now. As for once again, take, takes an early lead in, uh, in third round. Uh, 
Alba it seems has made another mistake because he is almost one second behind the first position. Scott is com comfortably ahead and Ashish is at, at second position is almost 0.7 behind him. So this again looks like an easy long win for Scott. As Alba actually catches up a lot and finishes second, followed by Kazar, Blurry, and Ashish. On to the fourth round on Fogan Paradise. So Corp is, is someone who likes to hunt the maps a lot, particularly the campaign map. Uh, his best position in any campaign was, I think he finished 7th in Summer 12, Summer 2021. He likes those PD maps as well. He's particularly good on ice, but he likes PD maps as well. As we see again in this round, Corp is actually taking a lead. But Alba is close behind and he actually overtakes Corp and gets an amazing slide with a lot of exit speed. And yeah, I, oh, that was very close to the uh, checkpoint, but yes, he manages to win this round with a 43.9. Followed by Scorpio in second, but in third, and Kaza in fourth. So the positions so far uh, on this group has not changed uh, since that map came up. Alba is still on first, Corp on second, Gary on third, and Kaza on fourth. But Alba has lost his lead uh, quite a bit because of the two mistakes that he made on uh, the first two rounds of this map. That's he makes another mistake on fifth round. Well, actually, both Corp and Alba making mistakes that gives chance, a chance to, uh, for Kaiser to take the lead in this particular round. He is 0.4 ahead from Blurry, who is in second position. In fact, 0.1 ahead now. And it seems like this round will be won by Kaiser. Followed by Dark and Ashish and Scorp and then Blurry and... I don't know where Alba is. Okay, Alba manages to finish and get those 8 points. So again at the end of the third map, Alba still maintaining the fourth position but now his lead has diminished. He is just 3 points ahead of Scorp in second position followed by Blurry and Kaza. So talking about the sponsorship of uh, this particular cup, uh, we have two people who have sponsored for the prize pool, uh, or rather one was sponsored for the prize pool and another one has, uh, is going to give a $5 stain gift card to the winner of the cup and both are playing in this, uh, this group with us. One is Ashish Mesh who contributed to the prize pool and another is Ashish Mesh who is going to give the stain gift card. So the map that we are playing right now is a plastic tech map. Uh, it is kind of a slow map. Again, uh, one has to manage their gears to make sure that they don't lose a lot of speed, especially with those auto flights. The world, uh, world record here is a 41.6 by Nami, uh, followed by a 41.65 by Kunal and a 41.7 by Eli. So all these three players are not here. So this means that it, this this map is pretty much an on ground for players to make sure that they secure some points as we go into the first round. And it's just to hold their fourth gear while some lose, gather bombs during the first uh, 
water slide attempt from plastic to road. Scott is the one who actually ahead, but as I was about to say that he manages to bounce. Alba is maintaining his lead in this particular round. He gets a very bad gear there and he clips. Hopefully no one else catches up to him, no one does. So he secures the first position with 43.8 which is nearly 2 seconds behind the world record. So not, not an amazing round, not an optimal round. Players are very slow here but the points all matter. So Alba securing those 25 critical points for him but he's in first anyway. Once again, someone bombs I did not manage to catch that, but Alba is once again taking a lead in this particular round, but he touches the wall. That means Kaiser actually now uh, takes the lead. Uh, who is closely being competed with by Scorpion. He actually managed just to get ahead now. And it seems like if he gets the ending reactor well, he will be able to finish first and he which is wait oh it's still one second behind world record <laughs> i thought for the world record was 42.6 so Elbe securing some good points for himself uh, sorry spark securing some good points for himself now which uh, takes him back again to being three points away from alpha He's still in first position with 324 points. As Kether and Alba want to take the lead in this particular round. I saw some people bonk at the start. I'm not sure who goes well. But Kether seems to be having a pretty good run. Uh, Alba, who's in second position, is almost one second behind him. So Kether can. Managed to take it safe at this particular point, even if he has a bad end, he can still finish on top in this round. And he manages to do that with 42.4, followed by Alba in second position, Blurry in third position, and Ashish in fourth. So, with these critical points, Kazar actually manages to overtake uh, Blurry. Uh, Kazar is third uh, in this particular uh, in this group with, two, with 284 points. Uh, Dark Phoenix is actually a uh, long way behind 4th position, almost 60 points. So, as long as the top 4 players still continue with their consistency, I think we can get an idea on uh, who uh, the players are who manage to go into the finals playing with the top 4 of uh, Group 2, which is a man playing Pandemi, which is by Asarki. This round once again Kazar manages to take the lead. He is 0.8 ahead of the second position, uh, which is the same that he had, but I uh, managed to make him bomb. Fantastic. And uh, Alba also bomb. Duck actually managed to win this particular round with a 44 45 time. Kazar finishing second, blurry in third. Corporate and fourth, Ashish in fifth, and Alba in sixth. So, on to the final round on plastic four. So, I, I think what Kether is doing wonderfully well here is that he usually manages to keep the fourth gear in the first uphill turnaround on plastic. He did not get that this time, but he still had a lot of exit speed from that particular slide and the first CP. And uh, as you can see, he has again taken the lead. He is 0.4 ahead from the second position once again. That he, he managed to get this very good first half of, of this particular track, which sends him way ahead from everyone else. So that he can manage to take the end safely, which he actually 
does a very good end this time, gets a 42.6, followed by Corporate Hill second, Lurie in third, Ashish in fourth, Rat in fifth, and Alba in sixth. And with that, it is the end of match four, and I think we have flipped positions in the first two spots once again, Corporate taking the lead. Now in this group, followed by Alba in second position, Kazar in third, and Lurie in fourth. So we move on to the final map that these players are going to play. It is a dirt FS map called Dirty Speed. It is a very fast paced map. The world record here is 49.6 by Kunal, followed by 49.66 by Nani, and 49.76 by Kork. So uh, I think if these records are anything worth to go by, Kork has a very good chance to. Secure some good points for himself uh, I, I think most of these players who are on top 4 can say that they have pretty much secured their position in the finals uh, with some very good points but it can never hurt to get a good factor from this map and uh, finish the group in top position. As I am being told that the group 2 has already finished and Kunal, Ojas, Iridium and North Furious have managed to qualify themselves for the finals. So whoever wins this particular group, the top 4 will compete with these 4 for the finals which will be in cup mode. As we go into the first round of 30 speed, I will be spectating Scorpet to see how he does. So the, first, the start is tricky here because you can easily lose here but as we see most players managing to do that. And th this particular drop down is very tricky because you can get a lot of air time but uh, once again the top position, the top players uh, manage to get no air time and get a lot of speed going into the entire full speed section which uh, the speed that you are carrying here pretty much uh, can maintain it till, till the end of the map. Uh, Scott is 0.8 ahead of uh, the second position uh, as at this point. And it looks like it will be an easy round win for Scott with a 50.6, which is actually a very, very good time. It's just about one second behind the world record. Kaiser gets second position, Alba gets third, Dark gets third. Are waiting to see me. Okay, Ashish finishes fifth, and Bloody will be able to finish. Yes, he does. He finishes sixth. Some players tend to take an inside line here and some take slightly outside line and then go inside but uh, I, I think the player with the most exit speed here is Corporate. So once again, now the speed that he's getting here will just snowball through the rest of the map once again because he was 0.2 ahead, now he is 0.3 ahead of second position and by the time we get to this CP he is now 0.7 ahead. So you can see the speed just no, keeps no bowling. I think this will be an easy run for a win for Scorpion once again. As long as he doesn't make any mistake, no, he doesn't. And Scott finishes first, followed by Bloody, Ashish, and then Alba. So Alba. He started uh, the round on the uh, first two match pretty well, but he's losing ground to Scorpion uh, for the first position uh, of this particular round. Uh, if some people are wondering, uh, Nami was supposed to play this round but he unfortunately had a power cut and he will be 
can just stop out. So uh, again in this round the same story uh, repeats Corp is uh, nearly point four ahead of second position but this time second position is held by Alba. Corp finishes with a terrific time of 15 point almost flat 50 which is uh, no point four behind world record that's a very very sick time. Moving on to the fourth round of dirty speed. As we see Alba actually taking the lead this time, but Scott he takes such an inside line during uh, during that uphill that he gains a lot of speed and then he immediately overtakes uh, the first position. As I'm just telling that Alba comes out of nowhere snatches that first position. It seems like Scorp has much more speed. Let's see if he manages to overtake Alba. It seems that he can and he actually will. Alba who was looking to deny Scorp from a team seat on this map <laughs> unfortunately does not manage to do that as Scorp finishes first once again with a 50.1 keeps managing to do these terrific times on the map which is very very close to the world records uh, almost just half a second away from world records as we move on to the final round of the qualifiers page Ramba kind of gets a slight feel back there there but he takes, also takes a very wide line uh, Scorped once again uh, in the lead, followed by Alba, who is uh, quite far away behind. So, will actually manage to get a clean sweep on this map. If I had to put my money on it, I would have said that he would do that in, on the ice map, but he manages to do that on the uh, dirt asset map, which again is one of his strongest times. Uh, he finishes first on this round, followed by Alba, Blurry, Ashish, Kaza, and Dark. So that finishes the group, uh, first group qualifiers. Corporate finishing first with 488 points, Alba in second with 448. Kaza in third with 401 points and Blurry in 4th with 364 points and these 4 players managed to go ahead into the finals. GG.